What's up, Pandus? Peter Von Panda here. Hey, you've seen these types of matches. Diamond. Strike anywhere. Anywhere at all. Picked up some of these because you may be putting together your survival bag, your bug out bag, your camping kit, and they look like regular matches. And I've used these in the past, but I haven't had them in a long time. I think that I've heard that the, the formula for these matches has changed a little bit. And in fact, my Strike Anywhere matches that I've had before have often been kind of equal parts of the two chemicals used to get these things lit. Um, so I kind of wanted to see, since I haven't had these in a while, one, is the current formula a good one? You know, are they able to be struck anywhere in light of fire? But then secondly, you don't need necessarily need the striking surface that you do with a lot of other matches. So it's they're kind of nice if you have like a little film canister, uh, Ziploc bag, you can throw some of these in there. You don't have to worry about the striking surface. They can strike on anything. Now, the first thing I will tell you is that they're wooden, you know, kind of your square wooden matches. I know that the, the, the cool trick thing to do is light them with your fingernail. And that's kind of nice because if you don't have a striking surface anywhere... Oh, uh, well, you can at least get them lit. So let's let's try a couple things here. Uh, obviously, we do have a striking surface here. It's kind of just like a thousand grit sandpaper. And my assumption is that when you draw these two chemicals together, that's going to be enough to light it up. And it is. No problem there. All right. So first things first, it works on the striking surface. Mmm, they smell so good. Now, what about just... Uh, Lighting with your fingernail, you know, some people do it with, like this with your, look at that. This one, see, has a little bit more even dispersion of the two. Chemicals. And I'm probably not going to be cool enough to get it to light. So, okay. I can't do it. So I definitely wouldn't want to rely on that to save my life. But what we can do is go out and try it on some other things. What we have here is just regular like concrete. No problems. Let's try it on some more stuff. What about this asphalt type of surface? Oh, busted. That one worked. How about good old outdoor concrete? Got out there. It wasn't the easiest thing. Uh, the surface here, I think, is a little too coarse to really be a good striker. How about on a rock? No problem there. So it really looks like the key is anything that's coarse enough to kind of be able to scrape and create a little friction and mix the two chemicals here. And you really want to get it at an angle where you are dragging both chemicals on the surface together to get it to light up but strike anywhere yeah pretty much not everywhere but most places peter von panda out